From this lesson onwards, things are going to get very visual. We'll start by introducing the canvas HTML5 element, and in this lesson you'll learn how to draw rectangles on it. In the upcoming lessons, we'll keep on introducing basic JavaScript concepts, but they'll be covered all in a visual manner as we build our first mobile game. I'll begin by entering a canvas element, and I'll give this element a width and a height. Also, I'll give this canvas an ID attribute so that we can select this element um, by its ID in our JavaScript code. When you want to work with a canvas, the first thing you have to do is select the element. We're going to store that element in a variable called canvas. And the way to select an element by its ID is by typing in document.getElementById and then specifying the ID of the element. Document is an object that we can use in JavaScript which gives us access to the entire DOM or document object model. The DOM is an object representation of, the, of all of the elements in the web page. All of the tags, all of the elements that you see are represented in the web browser as a, as a big object. That object is called the DOM. We access it by typing in document. Then the getElementById method will allow us to access that particular element. I'm going to reload the page now just to show you the actual canvas that we put in. The reason why the borders are black is because using CSS we've given it a black border, but otherwise it would just be white. If we, if we go to the developer tools, if we click there and inspect, right click on the rectangle and go to inspect element, you'll see that this element is shown in here in the, on the element tab where you can see all the elements of the page, all the elements of the DOM. And you can see the CSS rules in here. So this is our canvas, that's our rectangle. And now let's go back to the console. We have access to our canvas, but for us to actually draw stuff on the canvas, we need to get another object called the two-dimensional two context or 2D context of the canvas. So we're going to call that CTX. And the way to access that is by typing in the canvas, which is the element that we've selected, dot get context, context, and then specify 2D. Now that we have the context, we can draw rectangles on it. Let's specify first the color of our rectangle by, use, uh, by accessing the property field style and giving it a value for the color. The value for the color can be a RG, um, RGB, RGB number as we do in CSS or it could be an hexadecimal number. So let's type in an RGB value. Now that we've set the color, we can um, proceed to draw in the rectangle by using the method fillRect. And what we have to specify here are the coordinates of the rectangle and then the width and the height. Regarding the coordinates, on your canvas, on all canvas, the top left point is the origin. Then if you, if you move to the right on X, that's, that increases X in a positive way. If you move down, that increases the Y axis. So in high school algebra or math, you're used to having the origin and then going upwards as positive and downwards as negative. Well, when you work with the canvas, it's the, it's the other way around. When you go down, that's positive. And when you go up, that's negative. And it, it, it starts here. This is the origin. So we need to specify the coordinates of our rectangle. Let's say that we want it to be somewhere around here. We know that this is 200 because we've defined it like so. So let's say that in here it will be somewhere around 50. It'll start with 50. And then on Y, let's say that it'll be say 40. And the width of our rectangle will be 100. And the height will be let's say 30. Let's refresh the page and take a look at our rectangle. We can draw more rectangles if we want by using this same method. 
So we could have now one that's in on another position and let's say in the same X, but further down. And we have a second rectangle. If you wanted to change the color, you can do it at any point in time. And then everything that you draw after that will have that new color. So if we now go with this other color and I refresh the page, you see that it's changed now to a different color. So what we've done here, basically we've created a canvas element. We've given it dimensions. You always need to do that. And what I did here was give it a border as well using CSS so that we can easily identify it on the page. And then what you do is you get the corresponding element and then you get the context, which is this object that will allow us, allow us to draw. And then by using fill style, you define colors. And by using fill rec, you can draw as many rectangles as you want. Don't forget that the coordinates in a canvas start on the top left and go positive downwards on Y and positive to the right on X.